Meantime, for Robert Morris, points per game and nine rebounds. We are ready for action here in Moon Township, Pennsylvania. The officials, Dwayne Gladden, Dwayne Carnes, and Jim Bruno. St. Francis, Brooklyn in blue, Robert Morris in white, and we are underway. Robert Morris comes out in a 2 3 zone, really extends it, similar to Syracuse's zone. He's finding that player around the free throw line and a guy that knows what to do with the ball. Easy second dunk, but I agree with you, Zach. The key thing for Robert Morris is to get a rebound out of it. St. Francis is an elite rebounding team. Glenn Breika is the head coach at St. Francis. Fifth season there, already the fifth winningest coach in St. Francis, Brooklyn history. Longtime assistant at St. Francis, Brooklyn. Spent 15 years there before spending five years at St. John's as an assistant under Norm Roberts. Long three by Tariq Jewell doesn't go. And here comes Robert Morris pushing the tempo. Marquis Reed gets it inside. Traveling violation on Aaron Tate. Andy Tool is the head coach of Robert Morris in his fifth season. He's been very effective, 97 and 59. He was a former guard at Penn under Fran Dunphy, went to two NCAA tournaments. 2-3 Two, zone, can they rebound out of it? And for on the side of St. Francis, can they not turn it over? Because that's what Robert Morris does. It forced 14 turnovers a game. Fighting for the rebound underneath. It's taken down by Robert Morris's Aaron Tate, a junior out of Cove City, North Carolina. Kayvon Stewart with the ball for Robert Morris, leads the team in assists, averaging a little more than four a game. They run a lot of sets, Zach. There's a slip on the ball screen. And the bucket goes to Lucky Jones, who is on the board. Robert Morris, a 2-0 lead over St. Francis. Let it down by here in Moon Township. They went over that play and shoot around. Just a quick entry and then a slip on the, on the UCLA cup. There's the magic area on the floor, the free throw line. Hooper misses on the drive. Transition D, Robert Barr is extremely dangerous in transition, especially this kid. Top step, but the shot doesn't go by Reed. Here comes St. Francis Brooklyn. Cannon taking it up himself. Jones misses from the outside. To Cannon does just a relentless rebounder. Averages over three a game on the offensive glass, especially against a zone. Really difficult to keep off. Good defense there. Traps. They trap the wings, they trap the baseline. Jones out of control, but gets the shot to go. 5'10 senior from Brooklyn. Heck of a shot, oh, boys. Brent Jones averages nearly 15 points per game. Go back to the sets. Robert Morris wants a lot of sets to start, then they get into their motion. Got a slip on the ball screens. Foul on fadeaway doesn't go for Rodney Pryor, a junior from Evanston. Hard shot, fade away, difficult too. Inside, Hooper the layup goes. Coach Tool talked about just worrying about how hard they post up St. Francis. Not just Cannon, but their hoops. Hooper does the same thing as well. St. Francis Brooklyn at 4-2 lead over Robert Morris here. Oh, scoring game in the early game, a defensive game. Moving screen, which is, a, I think there's a little bit of nerves here. We've got a lot of Bob, Bob Morris fans behind this. Place is packed, it's on ESPNU. Kids are a little tight. Aaron Tate gets called on the infraction. Yeah, this is a big deal for both schools. Well, it's a huge game for a lot of reasons. Two of the better teams. And honestly, for these kids to be in this kind of national exposure, it's a huge game for them. Robert Morris, 27 and 8 at home all time against St. Francis Brooklyn. The layup doesn't go, but a foul call. Well, Zach, that's what you talked about getting it into the high post. A great pass, and Cannon just really finesses a nice pass pass. Robert Morris plays a ton of this. There's not a lot of guys that can make that pass. 
Cannon, Cannon looks like he can. Cannon, well-rounded player. Averages 15 points a game, 10 rebounds, nearly a block and a half a game. And he can shoot 33% from three-point range. I think if he shot the ball from three more, he'd be even more efficient. Just have so much admiration for his all-around game. Chris Hooper makes the set. They call him lucky lefty. Yes, Rob. You got a little one, little matchup diamond, kind of matching up in the zone, full court, tipping it back to man. Robert Morris beats it. Here's the three. And it goes. That's why Lucky Jones is dangerous. He's, he's going to be the school's all-time leading rebounder, yet he can hit a trailing three. And back to the zone as St. Francis Brooklyn works it around the perimeter. 6 2 for the Terriers. It's not your typical zone. Look how high the wings are. Pryor on the, on, the, on the left side, and Jones on the other side. Lucky Jones making his presence felt Lighting it up from three-point territory and making it a one-point game in the early going. When you have length. Where's the weak area in that zone? The weak area is if you can have someone pass it to high post, and how can you get it on the baseline and then make a play as well? Beat them to the track. St. Francis Brooklyn with the ball. Brent Jones, one of the top players in the D.C. Underneath Cannon, he's going to the line. Interesting thing, if you could do that as well, some teams get away from posting up against zone. They shouldn't, and I, I think that's what St. Francis of Brooklyn is trying to do. They got a great low post player. Let's still try to do it against the zone. Jalen King, a senior from Allentown, Pennsylvania, all Northeast Conference team selection, 37 career double doubles including last time out in a loss to Mount St. Mary's where he had 19 points and 13 rebounds. Well, think about this. He has 960 rebounds. He's going to get over 1,000 rebounds and 1,500 points. 961 picked one up a little bit earlier, second among all active NCAA players. And big misses. You get two picks to the foul line, got to convert. Robert Morris with an opportunity to take the lead here in the first half. Right. Jones with the ball. Running their sets, they come out with a stagger. They're trying to get this. A lot of the plays end up with staggers. And check foul. St. Francis of Brooklyn overplaying a lot of the stuff. They're going to try to do the back doors like they did early in that first possession we saw right there. Very staggered. Because it's going to call for a body check on the dribble. Lucky Jones about to trigger it in for Robert Morris. Real name, Lucius, was called lucky by his parents because at 22 days old, really sick, had to have part of his colon removed. Wow. Wore a colonoscopy bag for 10 months before surgery to repair his intestine because of a disease that causes a blockage of the large intestine. Jones with the ball right now. The step back. So they're going to switch off ball screens with Lucky Jones. They did it right there, very effective. Jones gets it inside the Hooper. Just, just the ability to get the ball up the floor before the zone set, then you can get those quick decisions. They did a terrific job right there. Hooper with six points for St. Francis Brooklyn. Right now, St. Francis of Brooklyn really guarding, overplaying. Robert Morris just very stagnant in their offense. And a steal, number three for St. Francis Brooklyn. Oh, what a move by Jewel. He's going to the line for two. Right now, I think St. Francis has done a very good job in the half court. Overplaying stuff leads to this in transition. Really not a great pass, but really good finish. Love to see Lucky Jones not have to foul there. Just go straight up. Make the smaller guard finish over you. More of a frustration foul after the turnover on the other end of the floor. Tariq Jewell at the line, 6'1 junior from Brooklyn. The junior college transfer, Region 3 Division 2 Player of the Year at Jamestown Community College. On that level, scored 30 plus points nine times, shot 39% from three, and a thousand points in just two seasons of junior college. We're just watching him shoot around. He's got a scores mentality. 
I, I think he's really helped them in the backcourt. And has stepped it up in conference play, averaging more than 13 points per game. Overall, this season is shared under 10. This pressure is bothering Robert Mars. As I said, they're a set team, and they're just jumping out on the wings and not letting them enter it. They're just really stagnant already. There's a nice inside move by Mark Reed. Typically, that's what you have to do against a team that starts overplaying wings. You're going to have to drive it, make good decisions, but you have to be aggressive. That's what they were right there. On the other side, St. Francis Brooklyn has to be patient against this zone. Ball knocked out. It's a fine line being patient. You just don't want to be like a robot. You always have to be ready to shoot it and make plays. Because as the shot clock goes along, the more difficult it is as well. 21 to shoot when St. Francis Brooklyn puts it in play. Glenn Sanabria in the game. Back to point man. He's played well in stretches. Glenn Breitka says, quote, I love him. Strong kid, not physically overmatched. Long three. Doesn't go. This ball. Underneath. All alone. A two-handed stop. Rodney Brown. In a nutshell, that's what's great about the zone and what's bad about the zone. The shoot, they don't get that rebound. It's a 50-50 ball. They give up a bucket, but in turn, you're so ready to go in transition. One point game. Zone start to really get used to what they're trying. That's a difficult shot. Baseline jump doesn't go, and the rebound taken down by Sinabria. It was Sinabria. Splits the defense. Oh, the scoop. No good. But Cannon tipped it to start the process. Crossover. Nice dish by Stewart. Take good handle. There's what I'm talking about, the 50-50 ball. He leaked out a little bit prior, did. But if he doesn't get it, it's a great look by Reed kicking it ahead. But that's that's going to be the battle this game. Does St. Francis kill him on the glass against his own or can Robert Morris outlet it like they did there and get easy buckets in transition. Yes, yeah, St. Francis entered tonight's game nearly plus seven in rebounding margin. And on the flip side, you look at Robert Morris minus four in rebounding margin heading into the game. It's probably going to determine the game. Pretty Stewart. Good, really good ball screen defense right there. I just, I just think they're really guarding in the half court. How can they keep off the drill? The putback goes down. Looks like that was tape. That's the penetration. If, you're gonna, if they're going to continue pressure the ball, they're going to drive it. That's going to be the key on that side of the ball for St. Francis. They can keep them front. Cannon pounding his way inside. Gets his own rebound. Slaps it off the glass, but it won't go. Relentless in transition. Got to pick up quickly. Good call. Carry violation is the call on Mar High Star basketball camp. High school, one of the elite camps in the country for years, right on this court. So they're used to some crazy stuff that happens. Yeah, Moon Township also the childhood home of John Catapult. That is correct. Extended zone, trying to get the ball in the middle. This is an interesting lineup for St. Francis. They brought in couple of shooters, but their bigs are out of there right now that are starters. Inside pass. Antonio Jennifer can't get it to go. And the rebound pulled down by Stephen Bennett. It's a terrific pass. You gotta make that fall. Stewart fouled on the drive. Kayvon Stewart plays with no fear. An excellent defender. A terrific distributor, too. Impressive. I'm sorry, he's impressive because he's got his 11. They're trying to force him right. He's shown he can go right. Stewart to trigger it in. Prior for three. It's a difficult shot, really good challenge. I thought he can't make but St. Francis really guarded him. Robert Morris, 0 for its last six from the floor. 11 minutes to go. 
here in the first half. And Francis Brooklyn trying to retake the lead. Gunnar Olofsson with the ball, drives, lost it. This is so, they're so active. They're extended now. Olofsson's in here to be a shooter, but obviously they're not giving them a chance. This is interesting what Robert Morris does out of bounds. They go 1 3 1 defensively. 11 seconds to shoot when the Terriers put it in play. Jewel will launch for three. And another offensive rebound for St. Francis. Really good inside outside. And once again, really good inside outside. Sanabria knocks down the tray. Offensive rebound again. That's going to be the key. Can Robert Mars keep him off the glass and stop the extras? Sanabria gives St. Francis Brooklyn the lead again. 13 11, ball knocked out. That wins pressure. Right now, Drew backing up a little bit. They're able to run their offense. Switching the ball screen again. David Appelon, a senior from Philadelphia, handling the ball for Robert Morris. Jones likes that step back, but doesn't take it. They're switching all exchanges right now. Nice move inside by Marquise Reed. Good defense, better offense. Really got a knack of it. getting the ball in the bucket. Not an easy shot. Marquise Reed averaged 31 points per game as a senior last year at Capital Christian in Maryland. At one point, had a 52-point game. He can turn it up. Got a catch and look there. Can't put it on the floor in the middle of the zone. Jennifer for three. Off the pass. Way off. Foul on the rebound attempt. Look at that. Everybody goes after the ball. This is what I'm talking about. They they switch the exchange, but Reed really going to his opposite hand just invents a shot and tosses it in. What a weapon to have that you have the ability to break it down so well. Earlier this year scored 24 points against North Carolina. They're gonna trap the trap the corners, trap the uh, excuse me, trap the gray area as well. Jones, the pull-up. Offensive rebound again, kept alive. This is what St. Francis Brooklyn does. It really feels going to decide the game. Oh, St. Francis gonna turn it over, or they're gonna offensive rebound against it. Terriers with so many extra opportunities. Being able to score some nifty shots in the paint. Lucky Jones for pull up. Doesn't go for the baseline and a foul on the rebound attempt. It's not a bad shot. The discipline that St. Francis bars, for the most part, is not a matter. Stephen Bennett was called on the loose ball foul. Three shooting, really, what I think the three best perimeter players in the game. As you got a chance, what a nice play. They're going to shoot around. Coach is getting on them a little bit, saying, hey, you're from Brooklyn. You can't throw a lob to three in the second row. Executed it there, though. That was Brooklyn to Brooklyn, Jones to Jewel for the slam. Switching the ball screens with Jones again. All the exchanges. Apple on at the head of the key. Inside tape gets fouled. It's a friend Dumphy special, right? It is. 82 learned under a great coach of Fran Dumphy. Andy Tool was a consummate team player, terrific captain at Penn. I had the privilege of recruiting him and the unluckiness of going against him as I moved on to Cornell when he started his career. What was your pick? <laughs> Well, I love Cornell, but I hate to go against this. He's so cerebral, yet one of the best leaders I've ever seen in the eye. Tie game, 15 all. St. Francis, Brooklyn, Robert Morris. Inside can. Just a little thing like that, the poise to face up and see. That's something that you can't teach a lot of big kids against the zone. We're under 10 now. This is where it gets difficult. Inside, and we fall. Ball knocked away, and taken away by Robert Morris. Here come the Colonials. Jones waits for his teammates. Really good transition, Gage. What Robert Morris does well. The three, three special Jones gets out of transition, as does me. He just 
switching those ball skills. Oh, a circus shot doesn't go. I thought that was a bad call. I, I really thought we set and out. And we're going to have some fun here. I had one technical in my whole career. And I sometimes feel it helped me, but it is very difficult on the road to keep your sanity about you. So I think that's a proper way to go about it. The free throw goes down for David Appelon, a senior from Philadelphia, giving Robert Morris the one point lead, 16 15 over St. Francis, Brooklyn. Right now, I talked about as he shoots a second one, doesn't make it, but against the zone, they've only turned it over once, and they have six offensive rebounds, St. Francis does. It's going to be a key. If Robert Morris can't take them over in the zone, it's going to be difficult for them to stop them in the half court. Eunice Hopkinson, a sophomore from New York City with the ball. Directing traps inside. Fall. Gets it to fall. A heck of a move. Just really good move. What I would say to you is that St. Francis will be happy with that, but in the same sense, Robert Morris guarded a hard two. Stewart on the move. Take the air ball. Johnny on the spot is Apollon. I like to chart that. How many air balls end up on your team? How do you buy a shot ends up two points? Coach Tool just yelled out, no touches in a high post. And you see the bars are really dropping, almost daring them to shoot. Surrounded. Under 10 to shoot. Hops the wild shot, doesn't go. Oh, Omer. It's good offense, inside out, got to drive. Costly foul, three free throws coming up. Pushing themselves no into doubt. the defender as they're letting go of the shot. No doubt. It's a frustrating play, but that's it's the rule. And it's a good rule. Two years ago, they put in the emphasis on protecting the shooter. Kayvon Stewart at the line for Robert Morris. When he's right, Robert Morris is right. In six Robert Morris wins this season, he's played in. 37 assists. Just 10 turnovers. That's impressive. Wow. Cannon hasn't scored. Uh, he only has two foul shots attempted. He only has two attempts. There's the accolades right out the window, right? <laughs> somebody, somebody must have opened that cold door now we have Pittsburgh wing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a home court advantage, if you ask me. We could use some cold air. It's getting hot in here. One more free throw for... Stewart, who was fouled while taking a three-point shot moments ago. They see some full-court pressure back to the zone. They showed it a little bit, and, he, and they do. It's Four. essentially just a matchup, two-three zone that they just show, token, get back to their extended two-three. More to take you out of your offensive rhythm. Even better than that. Yeah, look, we're under, almost under 20 right now. When it gets under 10 against his own, very difficult for the offense. Under 15 to shoot. Homer drives. Ball batted up in the air. There you go. Turnover. It's the first turnover. No, no. Can't jump against his own, not know where you're going because the defense isn't looking at your teammates. They're looking at you. They can step in passing. <laughs> Well, that's what the zone does. It just takes the kid out of his rhythm. He's used to getting no post touches, diving in hard. Hasn't been able to do it so far. Robert Morris with the ball, and it's biggest lead of the game. Oh. Colonials keep. He's really doing a solid job on the half court defense. Flyer <laughs> on the move. Junior college transfer who never got to play on the junior college level. What a great pickup. Comes in as a big scorer his first year. Fire makes the first of a one and one. Another one coming up. 
that's a difficult thing as well, playing such aggressive man to man, getting into penalty. Just a simple refusal of a ball screen gets you to the foul line. Pryor Jr. from Evanston, Illinois, went to Notre Dame Prep in Niles, Illinois, suburban Chicago, the same high school as Steve Barton. Uh oh, you so can tell you're from Chicago. You said that, you hope you don't think he's a villain still. It's gonna hurt for you. It's 2003. Under 15 again in the shot clock. You gotta stay poised against this kind of zone. Don't give up, my team. They, they, they just gave up. Jewel rushing the shot. Got another rebound for St. Francis Brooklyn. Some more acting out there, Zach. The three, way off. And Tumbo Jennifer. Found the rebound. Played zone before. It turned around their season, and now they continue to play. I know Gomez misses the free throw. It's a big miss. I like to play with pace against the zone. This is easy for Robert Morris. They're getting into a rhythm against what St. Francis is trying to do. Every possession's going under 10 seconds. Here we go again. Stay, stay consistent with your principles. Center touch, extra pass. Foul to shoot. Jones uses the screen, the long three. And Arthur doesn't go. Put back does work. This is the whole game. Robert Morris has done a terrific job in first shot defense. The second shots have killed him. But that's what St. Francis does really well. Seven rebounding margin entering tonight's game. A little bit of their own medicine, a little 2-3 zone by St. Francis. Not nearly as extended. Perry. Saw a great one back in the 2013 NIT against Kentucky. Inside Cannon, the lay-in is good. I just thought their sense of urgency was so much better in that possession. They didn't just go side to side. They like, let's attack, high low, they finally get Cannon off the snipe. One point game, Robert Morris with the lead, and St. Francis second possession now with the zone defense. I think it's a good defense against them. They really only have one shooter, and he's not in there right now. The three goes down, Marquise Reed. Marquise Reed says, no, 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 Coach D, I didn't shoot the basketball. Really good stroke right there. A 39% shooter from three-point range. Let's get the ball moving some more. It's just a little stagnant against the zone. We're really trying to get Cannon a shot in the low post, but we're almost, here we go again. We're under 10 on the shot clock, Zach. Jones with the ball at the head of the key. Four to shoot. I'm not sure Hopkinson knows it. Forces one. No ball, shot clock violation. Possession before, the command. And every single time, doesn't mean you have to shoot it, but you have to attack. Robert Morris, four-point lead. Once again, St. Francis with the zone. Interesting zone. I don't think they've played it much this year. But it's interesting strategy. I think both teams are guarding. The offense is obviously the issue. Extremely hard. It's really fun to watch. It's a great nice pass inside. A big finish for Rodney Brown. It's great cut, great plays. Really good action off the OPs. Pryor with six points. He's averaging nearly 19 over the last three home games for Robert Morris. The reason that happened, they switched and got burned. That's, that's the, obviously the downfall of switching. Inside Cannon. The three doesn't go for Hopkinson. Robert Morris calls time. It's good possession. You got Cannon again in the uh, touch, inside out. Rodney Pryor with the finish. Avon Stewart's got the ball for Robert Morris. Under a minute remaining here in the first half. Colonials up by six. 15 to shoot. Lucky Jones. The pull up. I never liked long twos, 
29-21 over St. Francis Brooklyn here. It's funny, they've done a good job in the sense of the offensive rebound against his own. They have seven. They haven't turned it over. But it, it's at the sacrifice of poor ex execution. They're very stagnant. Even against this, I would have some token movements right now. Just to get the ball hopping a little bit. Let the eyes move on the defense. Five to shoot. Two to shoot. They don't know. Cannon underneath. A shot clock. And that will end the first half. Robert Morris.